The biggest event in Melbourne this weekend is not a football match nor a major concert, but it will fill Marvel Stadium three days running. Thousands of Jehovah's Witnesses are in town for the organisation's international conference and Seb Costello went along. Congregating beneath the divine Melbourne sun, guests from all over the world here to witness our city. Well, Remy, so many beautiful cultures here. What's your background? I'm Nigerian. I'm uh, from Japan. Uh, where is your background from? It's Romanian. Across the spectrum of ages and races, thousands of Jehovah's Witnesses marvelled at our stadium after a long journey down under. Long way from Kansas. Only 7,135 miles. I think I was supposed to say you're not in Kansas anymore. Oh, that's exactly, yeah. You're, Toto's not here either. <laughs> These pilgrims don't follow a yellow brick road. Instead, a path laid out in the Bible. The convention presenting a series of speeches, singing and Auslan signing as attendees explored a theme of love never fails. Here, love is not just a word, it's a practical demonstration. It's something we try and live by and it influences our daily lives. More than 6,000 international delegates from more than 70 countries have travelled to Melbourne to be part of the convention, making this a truly international yeah. weekend. The convention will drive an estimated $60 million in economic activity, but for visitors like Keanu from Tahiti, this weekend is priceless. This is a real paradise and it's only spent three days, so that's why I come here. Melbourne's more of a paradise than Tahiti. No, just the convention. Seb Costello, Nine News.